what's up guys welcome to trending reviews let's talk a little bit about lighting today this is the aperture mc it's a pocket sized led light which is available on the rgb ww spectrum there's a couple of unique things about this this is actually wireless controllable so you can connect this via bluetooth with the sidus link app and then light this up in any color you like through the app but not only that in addition to charging it via USB C, you can actually charge this with a wireless charger so it has that compatibility which is awesome let me go ahead unbox this set it up run through all the different modes and specs and then light it up showcase how it can light up a room use it for your filming and let's just get straight into it okay let's open the box there you've got the pocket LED light cover that in a second let's go ahead and see what else is inside you've got the product user manual you have yourself a carry case let's go ahead and open this up so there's an additional pouch there where you can actually put the LED light just slot it in carry that with you that's very nice to have let's see what things are inside the main compartment so plenty of space in there now this is really cool you've got a very solidly built USB-C charging cable you've got a couple of 3M adhesive mounts as well in case you wanted to mount this anywhere particular and then you also have yourself I guess this is a protection case for the actual light so you can just slot that in there there you go and then you can just use this like that so let's go ahead and look at the pocket light in more detail right so the first thing I'm going to do is take off this protective screen there there we go so at the bottom you have yourself the LCD screen there that highlights all the different modes battery life Bluetooth connectivity I'll turn that on in a second on this side you have yourself the scrolling wheel which also doubles up as the menu button and the selection button the on off switch and then a USB-C charging port just there at the top you have yourself the quarter inch screw so you can mount this on a tripod and then you also have a magnetic back as well so if you wanted to connect this maybe onto a very solid steel surface then it would be able to connect through that but also this is wireless charging compatible so all you have to do is just place it down on a wireless charger and you'll be able to see the battery starting to charge i would recommend charging it using the usb-c port for faster charging it does state there at the bottom it is 2600 milliamp hour battery it gives you roughly around two hours of working time on maximum brightness but you can also get 15 hours on this if you have it on minimum brightness now you can charge this fully in two hours via the usb-c cable or about three and a half hours via the wireless charging so let's go ahead and turn this on and then we'll talk through more on the LCD screen so currently I have it set to 3700 kelvins now let's dive into the different modes before I get onto that so all I have to do is just hold down the wheel and it gives you the option to cycle through the menus now in the beginning of this video I mentioned that this pocket LED is RGBWW so in addition to red green and blue it has additional two white LED lights which can be used in the default CCT mode which you can see here now CCT stands for correlated color temperature which defines the color appearance of a white LED and this operates from a balanced warm tungsten color temperature at 3200 kelvins to a bright white color of up to 6500 kelvins which is very bright and as you can see from this screenshot that just signifies that scenario if I go to the next one which is HSI this stands for hue saturation intensity this basically gives you the 360 degree of the RGB color spectrum moving on to the FX one this basically stands for effects and you can cycle through various different lighting effects as shown in this screenshot if I go to CFX this is a custom effects which you can basically set all of your presets so if I go into there you can cycle through 10 different presets here Bluetooth obviously this is to connect to the Sidus link app version basically shows you the firmware version of this pocket LED so let's go back into CCT and as you can see 3700 if I select that I can cycle down to 3200 it gives you a very warm color or I can cycle up 
to a maximum of 6500 which is a very bright white LED. You can see this 3%, if I tap the button on the side, it can switch over to that. And then I can now brighten this up. It's gonna get very bright in this video. This is the 100% brightness. You can see everything around me has become dark and this is just brightened up the room on the opposite side. So let me put that down again. So that's the color temperature of the white spectrum. If I switch to HSI, select that. And this is where I can change the hue. So I can go down throughout the 360 degree color spectrum like so. If I tap, I can change the saturation levels. So if, if I'm on green, I can get a very bright green there. And then tap again, this is the intensity. So again, this shows you the level of brightness, so I can take this back up to 100%. Now everything is controlled with the scroll wheel on the side of the pocket light. However, it's really convenient to set this up with the Sidus Link app. So let me go ahead and showcase to you guys how to do that. All right guys, so let's dive into the app. As you can see here, Sidus Link, this is the app to get. I've connected it to Bluetooth already. So I've turned it on. All I need to do is hit scene one. It's loading, it's connected. As you can see at the top, there's one fixture available, MC, C67, etc. This will pick up to the last settings that you've adjusted manually onto the actual pocket LED light, which is great. So right now I'm on the color effect. If uh, I hit the tab white along the top there, you can see it goes to CCT mode, and then I can just adjust here, the intensity, the level of Kelvin, so all the way up to 6,500, as you can see. And then you can also do some presets as well. 4,000 there at the bottom, 5,600, whatever you like. So plenty of things to play around with. If I go into the next one, this is the source type. Along the bottom here, you have more options. You can change this to tungsten, to a studio lamp, a studio CP light, and this will give you the best adjustments necessary for those specific scenarios. If I go to source match, this basically opens up a camera. If I see on the CCT spectrum, the white spectrum, if I see anything, let's say a wall, I wanted to get this to light up the same color. I just need to take a picture, hit match. So this is a very warm color here. Hit match, that's 3,900 Kelvins. This is now also changed to 3,900, so that's really convenient. Now let's move into the color tab. You can see this is where you might be able to, for the most part, use this to change colors of the RGB spectrum. So you've got some presets, you've got blue, red, yellow, green, purple, etc. You can also use the little circle selector down there below. So I'm just gonna have this as a nice blue color there. There we go. I'll maybe put the intensity down a little bit. So quick and easy. The response rate on this is pretty much almost instant, which I'm very impressed with. And again, you can also set presets down there below. If you go to picker, this is quite unique. If I see another color that I want to match and I want it to display it just like this, then I can just take a picture of it using the picker. Now you can see there's a bit of a pink light down there. I've got another light down below on the floor. If I want to light this up in the same pink, all I need to do is take a picture of that specific pink. Hit pick up. As you can see straight away, it's changed the color. So it's adjusted it on the top. I can see it here and it's pretty convenient. The last thing, you have the effects like I was showing you before. On the top right hand corner is the effects tab. Along the bottom, you have yourself all of the different effects. So fireworks I've got selected. If I hit start, this will cycle through and start playing the fireworks effect. But if I hit multi there in the middle, that will change it to a multiple different set of colors and I can change the frequency. So if I increase that to 10, you'll see it starts lighting up as fireworks more frequent than when it was set to one. So plenty of adjustments, again, intensity there on every tab. So loads of different things to play around with. You can put the intensity down to zero to basically turn this off. Although the actual device itself is on, you might need to turn it off manually using the switch here. So just remember that. So plenty of things to play around with the app. There's so many different options. I am not covering all of them. You guys can go ahead and ask me any questions you like to specifically know the functionality of this. But for the most part, it's so comprehensive. The fact that it just flawlessly works straight away, I had no problems connecting it. I think it's brilliant. 
So now let's go ahead, see how good this is at lighting up different scenarios. All right guys, so let's do a test. As you can see, I'm currently using this Studio Ring LED light to brighten up myself. What I wanna do is I wanna turn that one off. And as you can see on top of my camera, I have the Aperture MC. I'm gonna turn that on and see the comparison in the difference of how powerful that light can actually travel. It's so much smaller than the Ring LED light as well. So I just wanted to give you guys a comparison. So let's go ahead and make that switch. All right guys, I've now switched. I've got it on 5,500 Kelvins at 100% intensity brightness. So as you can see, it is a little bit dimmer, but the light is smaller, it's concentrated, and it's a little bit further away. But if I bring it closer, I can reckon it will do the amount of same intense brightness as the main ring LED light. But overall, it's still pretty clear, and I'm quite happy with that. So let me go ahead and bring it slightly closer, and then you guys can see a comparison of that as well. Now, how about that? I have been brightened up a lot more than when it was on top of my camera. It's a little bit closer to me, but as you can see, I will now need a filler light for my background because now you can see a lot more harsh shadows. So I need the light to be dispersed a little bit more. So it depends on your usage of what you will use this for. If you use this maybe outdoors or you want to take photography of specific items, then this will do an excellent job. But using it solely just to brighten yourself up, I wouldn't recommend just this pocket LED light on its own because it will create shadows. But there's also various different other reasons why you might also use this. So I'm a very big fan of having ambient lights in my background, especially when I record my videos. Now I have a Novo Stellar LED light down here shining pink against this wall. I'm gonna turn this to a different color, shine it against the opposite wall. This will showcase to you guys what difference this type of light can make and how to set that up as well, just for your backgrounds. So let me go ahead and show that. Okay, so I've just moved a couple of things around. So I've got this light there on the corner next to the pink light. I have the pocket light down there on the floor. I've loaded up the app again. Let me go ahead and turn it on remotely like this. There you go, I've lit it up blue. So it's so convenient. I think it's really cool to have this to light up and make any type of ambience in your background so much better. You can use this to light up yourself when you're doing filming, especially in dark areas. Make as many adjustments as you can. It's pretty much unlimited. So this is really cool. I'm gonna use this as my floor light for my backgrounds and also if I wanted to take it with me, it's so easy to carry with you, chuck in your backpack and do filming anywhere you can because I can't always take my Ring LED studio light with me everywhere. So I can play around with this, whichever background I like, I can just select it there. I think I'll stick to the blue color for now, which I think complements the pink very well. And finally, how much is it? This comes in at 109 pounds on Amazon UK. So check it out, the link is in the description below. If you guys have any other questions, then do drop me a comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you subscribe. I do tons of awesome lighting videos, which I know you're really gonna like. Make sure you hit that like button if you really like these lights, and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.